Welcome back to The Social. No, your TV is not broken. Tessa and I are taking a break from the Thank You Canada Tour and taking over this show. <laughs> it's true, we really like it here, but it's not all about us. We get to work with many talented figure skaters and joining us next is someone we like to call the pillar of our tour. Woo. Please welcome two-time Olympic medalist, three-time world champion and seven-time national champion, Elvis Stoiko. <laughs> Super fan, so do you mind if I get a little closer? Tessa, move. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay, I have so many questions. So let's first talk about your routines from the 90s and okay. the early 2000s. Yep. We all remember they were so strong and rock and roll and hardcore and so different from what we were seeing at the time from other competitors. Do you think that you helped move the sport forward? I think so. I, I just sort of did it my own way, and, and everyone's saying, oh, he's, he's being macho, he's doing this, he's doing that, and I was just being myself. I just wanted to do something different because it, everything was so similar, yeah. and I just said, you know what, I want to skate to this type of music, I want to skate with this outfit, I want to add martial arts to it because that's in my heart, in my soul, it's who I am, and, and it just sort of developed from there. Okay, just, just one more question for me, sorry to dominate your time, <laughs> but you can still do the jumps that you were doing when you were competing in like, you know, the world championships. Like you can still do a triple Lutz what and a double that? axle and a triple toe. Look at this triple Lutz right here. Whoa, one, two, three, and go. How do, you stay, how do you stay in such great shape? What is your routine? That, it, as you get older, bodies change and you have to really think about um, recovery. You were talking about protein powders and things like that. I have to watch uh, diet, uh, training, when not to train, uh, how long I can train, and then allowing myself to, oh my. to recover, to recover fast. Wow. I, I don't recover as fast. So there's, it's all these things, but I've, every few years the body changes and you have to keep up with it. You have to listen to your body. Can I get in there with a question, Lainey? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the love, love question here. So you okay. are married um, to Gladys Orozco, who's also a figure skater as yes. well. And you say that you are the proud parents of three hairy daughters, you say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. They have their own Instagram account. Of that, course they do. Uh, <laughs> my wife set up the Harry Healer Trio, and they're, they're all three of them are um, rescues from Mexico when we live there my wife being Mexican, um, they have a huge problem with stray dogs everywhere. So uh, my wife was helping out with the shelters and I joined in and I love animals. And they, they came back to Canada with us. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, group on tour obviously spends a lot of time together. Yes. You have rehearsals and then time on the road and performances. So you must have a pretty special bond. I'm wondering, do you have any sort of ritual that you do together maybe before you perform? <laughs> You're smiling. Yeah, well, yeah. I can, be well, careful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, before, be, be, just before we go out, when the show's starting, we have what's called goodies. And we have a little moment. Everyone has a moment with every other person. I have a little moment with Scott and Tessa, and they have a moment, everyone has their goodies, and then we all get together and do our thing. What's really cool is we didn't really plan for it. I skate just before Scott and Tessa, and we actually have a moment where we kind of do a little bonding thing where I just finished skating, and Tessa will come out, and we'll talk a little bit. She'll, How'd you feel? Because every show is different. Every audience is different. And there's di these different experiences, so I'll share what I felt out there. And if they're a little bit nervous, I just go out and try to help them ground, and we do a little martial art little signal. Oof. <laughs> Just the three of us behind the curtain, and they go out and skate, and it's like my, my kids going out doing their thing. <laughs> we do get nervous. Uh, do. And oh, I have my... to say, when I was able to co-host with you, uh, you have a little ritual you do before coming onto the show, and I adopted that for our cast, and we do something very similar, which we just adore and love, and it, it makes us feel supported and empowered as we take the ice together. Aww, We're with you, you guys on the road! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I wish we had way more time, but this is our opportunity to say, on behalf of us and the entire country and everybody watching, um, Elvis, Tessa, Scott, thank you all. Thank you all for being here.
So this is where I remind you, you can catch all of them along with many more Canadian figure skating stars in the CTV special. Thank You Canada is airing Sunday, December 2nd, 8 p.m. right here on CTV. Did you have fun today? <laughs> all right, everybody. Great Canadians continue on this show tomorrow. Canada's first female prime minister, the Honorable Kim Campbell, joins us. See you then, everybody.